Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video we are going to be doing the Barefoot Cobbler contract. Or task, sorry. And so for this task we are going to need to pick up five vehicle spare parts which are all uh, sort of randomly misplaced. Um, Looks like they fell off this trailer here. Oh, why am I... I went like all the way down to the bottom to attach the trailer, which is the like very top thing. So we have one right in front of us. Um, you can kind of see them where the uh, pickup icons are, but there's one over to our right, one there, one off behind us, and then there's one up on the hill up there. So I'm going to try and do this as quickly as I can. And we just have to bring them uh, a couple hundred yards away. So that should be pretty easy. So pack, unpack, well pack it I guess. And uh, yeah, I think I'm going to, whoa. Oh shoot. I didn't notice that till it was too late. There we go. Oh shoot. We're going downhill so even if I hit the brakes it still kind of goes for a little ways. Alright, let's hope that that's close enough. Yes, it is. There's a lot of stumps in here. And this is so slow lifting it up, man. Oh, come on. There we go. It doesn't, yeah, like I said, it's, we're on a big slope, so it doesn't really help. Because the, the, oh shoot, took out the parking brake and started sliding down here. So the, uh, I was going to say packages, but the cargo wants to slide backwards. Let's see if I can, oh shoot, shoot, shoot. There we go. Come on. This is a, a very slow process on this one. Oh, I didn't even say it. Yeah, we're using the Taiga 6455B, which is a Phase 6 truck. There we go. I'm going to see if I can put it right on top of that. Unpack and pack. There we go. I love it when it actually works. Um, I thought this would be a little bit harder than it has been because of these stumps. But I'm, I'm glad it hasn't. So now here is where it might get a little tricky because if I unpack and pack, I don't think it's going to work. But we'll, we'll try it. Oh! Well, I am pleasantly surprised. I'll take that any day. Alright. Oh. We're a little bit stuck on something there for a second. I'm trying to get it around to the side of my truck, but it does not want to come. I think we'll go the other side here. That was as far to the side as it would let the crane go there, so...
There we go. Let's lift it up. And I guess I'll try unpacking and packing. There we go. And see if it works. If not, whatever. Wait, why can't I... Am I missing something? Whatever. I was gonna just try and go, but... Normally I clamp the, uh... the crane down on top of it, but I didn't do that. Let's see if we can move it over to the side, maybe. There we go. Let's try and put this down on top of it. Oh, see, now it allows me to unpack and pack. And it actually packed all five, which is crazy. We're going to try and go at a little bit of an angle here. Turn to the right slightly. And slowly be able to turn it and go down back downhill. I know my crane is uh, not... I was going to say reset, but I don't know if that's uh, restored or whatever you want to say, but... Actually, this is the first time I think I've used the 6455B in the snow. I don't think I've ever used it in the snow before. And it did pretty well there. Although we didn't really go in any deep mud. It was more or less just... Uh, like a very light, like, not deep snow. I think we gotta go up this road and it turns to the right and goes into this factory area where the uh, workshop is apparently at. Oh wow, high gear really, really helps out with that, wow. Every once in a while you put it in high and it just, the thing just goes, man. This is one of those times. Yeah, that's auto. Oh, well now we're stopped. Put it back in high. I guess we'll just leave it in high. Nope, I guess we won't. Oh geez, that tire was pretty deep. So this is pretty muddy in here. I thought, I mean, by the looks of it, this right side looks like it's solid, but as I'm driving through it, it's just mud. Trying to winch myself along. Pull it just a little bit faster. These hills are like, I was gonna say the perfect amount of, uh, for height. Just enough for me to like bottom out. There we go. All right. Put it back in high. And it's it's cruising. That wasn't too bad. I wonder if we're gonna keep the trailer. Probably not. Oops, not detach. Attach trailer, stop engine. Cargo management. Nope, trailer is gone. So we got 8,700 for that. Repair station is now available though. Oh, okay. So yeah, we got a we got a repair shop right here. Oops, still got it in high. 
Truck fully repaired. Nice. Oh, okay. So it repairs the truck, but we still can't refuel because we don't have a roof rack. If you have a roof rack, I believe you get you get restocked on fuel in that, and then you can refuel your truck and then drive back into it again and get your roof rack filled up. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to watch another video, there's a random video on screen and another playlist. Please be sure to share the video, like it, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those bell notifications so you're notified when I upload. And until next time, peace.